Jonathan, comma, I have never used Windows 7 speech recognition before, comma, but after seeing your video, I thought I would give it a try to see how well it does. Full stop. Now, what you're seeing on screen at the moment is the initial usage of speech recognition without any training whatsoever. Full stop. New paragraph. By the way, comma, I realize that you are visually impaired, but I am assuming that you will be able to see the text appearing on screen as I am speaking. Full stop. What I can tell you is that I am astonished at how well this is doing, comma, for the free utility included in Windows. Full stop. New paragraph. What I would say, comma, however, comma, is that you do need an extremely high quality microphone and the one I use is a very high quality condenser microphone paired with an extremely high quality audio interface. Full stop. New paragraph. In a moment I am going to pause this video and then I will switch back to naturally speaking, comma, which I have used a lot and like a great deal. Full stop. New paragraph. What I can see with the Windows speech recognition is that there are a few errors occurring as I speak. Comma. But I have to say, considering I have not trained this at all, it is doing a remarkably good job. Full stop. OK, I've now switched to Dragon Naturally Speaking. Let me turn the Dragon microphone on. So, comma, Jonathan, comma. As you can see, I am now using Dragon Naturally Speaking, which is version 11.5, and I am speaking in a fairly normal voice, comma, although I am actually using the punctuation, comma, or rather I am speaking the punctuation out loud, full stop. New paragraph. I did notice in your video that you seem to be correcting your uh, problems in the software one at a time by manually selecting a word, full stop. If you correct in the right way, then Dragon will get better every time you make a correction, full stop. New paragraph. The way I would actually do this is to voice correct, comma. So let me see if I can say something badly so that Dragon does not recognize it correctly, comma. And then I will fix it by voice, comma, so you can see how to make those corrections stick for the future. New paragraph. Let me pause for a second while I just clean up the errant text at the bottom of this screen, comma, which I think I must have done by accident, full stop. Okay, let's put the microphone back on. So I am now going to try to say something badly, comma, wow. It even understood that when I said going to exclamation mark. So, um, okay, let me see what I can say. Microphone off. So I am okay. So it's got that bit wrong and I said so erm. Um. Right, let's just turn the microphone back on. Correct erm. Um. Correct I am. Two. Spell that. ERM. Train. Go, erm, um, done, 
Full stop. New paragraph. In future, comma, when I say erm, comma, it should know how to spell it, exclamation mark. Correct term. Choose one. New paragraph. When I save my profile after using this particular session, the word erm should be saved and incorporated into the database for future use. Full stop. That means every mistake that you correct will make your future usage even more accurate. Full stop. New paragraph. Personally, comma, I think this is an amazing system and when you get used to it you can work at a fairly normal comma conversational pace. Full stop. Correct is ace. Spell that. P-A-C-E Train Go Pace Done New paragraph Certainly, comma, typing at this speed would be very difficult for many people, comma, unless they are trained typists. Full stop. New paragraph OK, comma, Jonathan, comma, I hope this has been of some use to you, and if you have any questions, please do fire away. Full stop. Microphone off.